Silent Move 9, and I am playing Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. And, uh, what chapter are we on? School is here, and school has killed me, and it's final exam week, and what am I doing? Recording for a video. I should be studying. Uh, whatever, who cares. I got certified in Photoshop. I'm happy. First time's the charm on every single certification test I ever took. <laughs> uh, it's, I'm so, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Anyway, chapter 14, training. We've, we've done a lot of chapters of this game. I wonder if we're almost halfway done. <clears throat> The Begnion Empire, the largest nation on the continent, is a theocracy dedicated to the goddess Ashira, not Ashnard. Oh, let me move my mic up so you don't hear my spit. I know that can annoy some people. I'm sorry. Reigning from the summit of the empire and guiding the world with the voice of the goddess, the Apostle Sananki. No, that's wrong. Sanaki, San, Sanaki, Sanaki? Sanaki? Rules Begnion. As Ashira's chosen vessel, for whatever reason, the Apostle is showered with love and respect from the entire nation, except for Holiday Inn, because they're rebels. Seven Imperial Senators aid the Apostle in the governance of her realm. Governance is a word. I mean, I knew that. <laughs> this system of government has been the backbone of Begnion for many long centuries. They have not reached modern day yet. After Ike and his company aid the Apostle, her holy guard takes them to the Imperial capital. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't know how to pronounce half of the fake words in this game. Don't judge me. You know, you you guys know you wouldn't be able to pronounce it either. Unless you looked up Google Translate. Losers. <laughs> I do it too, it's okay. The upper class of Begnion society live lives of pampered comfort and luxury. Wow, this does not look like medieval day. This looks this looks uh like the European age. <laughs> Known as the Sainted, these elite power brokers reside in massive temple-like homes whose spires dominate the skyline. And then there's the poverty! <laughs> the Guiding Tower overlooks all from the heart of the city. Here, Ashira holds her vigil, watching over the world. Is the Guiding Tower that l long, tall thing in the background? I'm just gonna assume that. Surrounding the towers, it kind of reminds me of Oblivion, actually. The Imperial City. Yeah! Except also not. Surrounding the tower is a series of temples, both large and small. Why so many temples? Sheesh. Placed in an, an orderly, systematic fashion. Like the Imperial City from Oblivion. Except it wasn't really... I except it was more like sections of... I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm tired. I had a very tiring day and had to take a test. And I passed it, which I'm happy about. One temple, however, is conspicuously larger than the others. Yeah, it's that thing, right? I thought that was the tower where the lady does stuff, watches people, whatever you said. I don't remember. It is the Grand Temple Mainall. That's a dumb name. Home to the Apostle. I, uh, yeah, didn't you already say that? Like, two sentences back? I, I'm not that stupid. Ike and his company, used to the freedoms of Crummy, find the differences in culture and custom to be very confusing. What? <laughs> what? The what? <laughs> you guys were not even living in, the, in any city. You guys were living in a goddamn forest in the middle of nowhere. Chapter 14. Training. I mean, chapter 14, training. I haven't done that since Devil May Cry. <laughs> I miss Devil May Cry. Mainall Cathedral. I've 
forgot my voice. I'm just gonna assume that I was a little girl. Which sounds exactly like my other female voices. Ahem! Now then, you have proclaimed yourself to be the orphan of Crummy's King Ramon. Is Princess Alencia Reed, 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 Crummy, correct? Yes! I have heard stories that King Crummy had a daughter in secret. My men have reported it as much to me in the past. How old are you? However, whether you are that princess or not is another tale. Or are you just short? I mean, I can kind of relate. I, I'm 18. I look like I'm 14. <laughs> Cause I'm short. Uh, do you have nothing that? Do you have nothing that would lend con credence to your claims? Nothing at all. It took all my energy simply to avoid capture by Holiday Inn. I had no time to secure any proof of my claim. Uh, chick, are you blind? She's got like a crown on her head. I mean, isn't that like... If she's not royalty, she's obviously rich. <laughs> she's even wearing like a princessy outfit. You think a band of mercenaries are gonna come up with that? No. Look at Titania. She's wearing like... Huge armor stuff. That's what mercenaries wear. Or you can look at Mist if you want to see what our clothes look like. It's pretty, pretty bad. Moonshadow. Nobody's talking to you. <laughs> and with Crown Prince Renning also dead, there is no one who even knows your face. What am I to do? I will vouch for her, even though I do not know her that much. But I will vouch for her. My Lord Ike! I have no doubt that Princess Silencia is the true heir to the cr throne of, of Crummy. And that is because I am an airhead and I just trust anything that is... stuff. Oh, really? Why, well, you are an airhead, and tell me, what gives you this strength of conviction? If we believe her story, this woman has not engaged with the outside world since the day she was born. So how is it that you, a lowly mercenary- Is she Corrin? A lowly mercenary dare to assert her author- Authenticity. Authenticity. The Holiday Inn army pursues her with bloody-minded determination. At every- Oh. <laughs> Oh, I mean, at every turn, <laughs> at every turn, they demand that we return Princess Valencia over to them. What further proof do you need? Hmm. <laughs> if someone of proper standing made that pronouncement, I would accept it as irrefutable proof. Man, you talk fancy for a three-year-old. Look, listen, lady. Ike is Greel's son. I know he's not. You know, a, a god, a, a god, a, a prince or anything, but haven't you ever heard of the Grail Mercenaries? <laughs> We're pretty popular back in Crummy Land, <laughs> baby. But you, you're a commoner. You have no surname, no documented. Li Wait a minute. Did peasants not have surnames? Explain so much. <laughs> I've been wondering all this time why no one has ever had a last name. Then again, I don't think even the princess, princesses, and princesses, the princesses and the princes have had surnames either. Like, uh, Ellie Wood, he didn't have a last name. Never mind. No documented lineage. You have nothing. No documented lineage. Excuse me. I know who my parents are. I know commoners. They are poor. For a price, they will support any lie, no matter how outlandish. Outlandish. Uh, you're thinking of a peasant. Commoners are different from peasants. Uh, well, slightly. Peasants can be commoners, and commoners can be peasants. But not all peasants are commoners. Not all commoners are peasants. No, wait. All peasants are commoners, but not all commoners are peasants. That's what I meant. You see, a commoner is just... I forgot what point I was trying to make. Look, my brain is scattered today. Ignore all my bad attempts at making jokes. Dots. Oh, now I suppose you will tell me you are the son of some noble house? No, of course not. But wait, perhaps you're a royal knight of crummy? No. <laughs> I am neither a noble nor a knight. I have no connection with the pl palace whatsoever. 
Then no matter how much gold I stood to gain, I would not betray my convictions. Valencia has paid us, yes, but nothing- She has? When? Oh wait, yeah, 20,000 gold, but that was really technically from Ranulf. But whatever. But nothing more than the standard fee to purchase our services as her escort. Nothing more. We have come to this far only because we believe Valencia to be a woman of integrity. We would not sell our swords to a liar. Yeah, we would. I don't care how high and mighty you might be. I will not stand here and let you mock the bond of trust that ties us to Alencia. <laughs> you forgot her title again. And also, what? <laughs> the, the bond of trust that ties us to Alencia. I don't think everyone trusts her, but okay. My Lord Ike! That's all I can shout, apparently! They're totally gonna get to go. Oh, who are you? You have a nice mustache. Whoa, you're gonna be evil or something. Are you the evil old priest man that's gonna come and take Princess Alencia away and kill her or something? It's just like Final Fantasy 13 dash 2. I mean, not 13 dash 2. That's 13. This is 13. Oh, I hate that game. <laughs> I don't know what voice to give you. I can't do accents. I would love to do an accent, but I can't do accents. Except by accident. Literally. <laughs> <sighs> How dare you? Who are you to address the Apostle so crudely? I just spoke so lowly that I felt like my lung drop. I'm probably gonna die. Gorge, Gorge, seize this man for his abuse of the Apostle. The penalty can only be death. Whoa, 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 dude. It's not like I called her stupid or something. Sheesh. Halt! It's not like he called me stupid or something. Ha 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 ha! Death is funny. <laughs> Sephiran was right about you. You are very interesting. Uh, Apostle. Sephiran, Sephiran, that monk we rescued from the prisons. I don't even remember his name, but whatever. I'm gonna guess that's him. A monk was it? His disguises are always so clever; it never ceases to amaze me. As always, he remains an enigma. Whenever I think of enigma, I think of Patrick from SpongeBob. Because I'm a kid. Heed my words! Return the slab! Or suffer thy wrath! I mean, uh, Sephiroth is a true... Uh, truth duke... Be, uh, be, uh, bliss. Prime Minister of Begmion and my most trusted advisor. You know what? I like the name Sephirin better. Sephirin. I can't even try to pronounce Bells. Okay, no, never mind. Actually, no. Never mind. It's Belsis. What am I talking about? Sephiran is a whole lot harder to pronounce than Belsis. <laughs> he has been traveling the neighboring lands for months, trying to ascertain the condition of the people there. We have received detailed reports on Prince Silencia and her mercenary company serving as her escort. So you knew we were coming! You knew who we were all along! And you just wanted to interrogate us just for fun because you're an a-hole! How rude! Yes, I apologize for testing you. You see, life here in the palace is very dull. And I'm always so- I was- I, I was actually thinking she was gonna give us a good excuse for this crud. Like, no, it's a- it's a trust of test or something. No, she's just freaking bored because she's like five. Great. To the Friggin another conversation that didn't need to be happen. There are so many conversations in here that are pointless. Uh, whatever. Thanks to the princess and her brazen little escort, this interrogation proved to be an amusing diversion. Oh god, Oliver, please go away and never show your face again. You look like the potato man from Final Fantasy VIII, but with red hair, and it doesn't suit you. <coughs> Ho oh, ho ho, so that's what this was. How very like you, Apostle. Where'd you even come from? Who even are you? A cunning game of wits and words. Simply smashing. Oh, great. You have an accent too, don't you? But I can't give you one because I suck at accents. And voices in general. Even your most loyal servant, Duke Oliver of Tannis, was on the verge of being completely fooled. I am humbled. I'm confused. Ho ho ho, come Duke Lacane. Lacane. Ah, him, it was all a ruse, was it? Oh, Apostle, you do tease us so mercilessly. 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 Still, it was not such a bad way to amuse ourselves, was it, Duke Hetzel? Of 
where are all these people coming from? Why do we care about them? <laughs> oh, too true, my good duke. Princess Crummy. Hetzel rhymes with pretzel. I'm sorry, I just had to point that out. <laughs> it's like it's like one letter off from... Oh, okay, two letters off from pretzel, man. <laughs> Princess Crummy, it appears that you have to put a, quite a smile on the faces of our beloved apostle. What an honor that must be! Ho 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 ho! Oh uh, yeah, uh, yeah, sure. Like they're scaring me. Can we go back to Crummy? I don't care if Holiday in madness. <laughs> he just he just left. He was like, "F this crud. I'm out. I can't deal with this child anymore." <laughs> oh, oh yes, I almost forgot. And all the fun, Sephirin has already vouched for your identity as the true princess of Crummy. Why am I still calling him Sephirin if he's not named that? Whatever. I require no further proof. You may rest peacefully. I can't even speak. It's been such a long day. I am most grateful. I think. Wait a minute. Hold it. <laughs> yes, I just broke my thumb. Frack. What is the meaning of this? You knew Valencia was Princess Crummy. Ike. Ike. You're a little late. Like, very late. Like, ex extre You are so late that I'm disappointed in you. Moonshadow! Nobody cares! Sorry if you can hear my cat in the background. I bet you can't. Because every other time he meows, you can't hear him. Because this mic is very good and doesn't pick up- SHUT UP! It doesn't pick up background noises. Like my cat. <laughs> He's still meowing. I don't even know where he is. What? Okay, he stopped. Ike, you're late. And you can and you continue to humiliate her for your own entertainment. She didn't really humiliate her, but whatever. For some stupid game of wits and words, this is no joke. That's you're angry. Alencia's homeland is lost to her. Her family has been hunted down and killed by the monsters of Holiday Inn. I just broke my finger. Ow! And with nowhere else to turn, she endures mortal danger and terrible heartache to reach heartbreak to reach your door. And you're just a five-year-old child with a god inside of her or something. I don't even I don't understand the storyline very well at all. <laughs> it's very clear and obvious. <laughs> but all I know Ow, frick! I just broke my elbow. Oh, <laughs> All I know is I gotta stop moving. <laughs> I, I just gotta sit still for five seconds. And then you, you laugh at her. Where is the humor in that? Where is your decency? Well, she has none, Ike. She's she's been an a-hole this entire time. <laughs> it's because she's a she's one of those nobles. Y you know the kind. You're horrible. You're all horrid people. You disgust me beyond words. And you owe Alincia a proper apology. Ike, it's time for you to die. You're gonna die. You're gonna get sent to the lun to, to the dungeon. I almost said the lungeon. <laughs> You're gonna get sent to the lungeon. <laughs> my, my lord Ike, please. Wretched peasant, you loose that treacherous tongue once more and... Duke, lick and restrain yourself. But, but, I am speaking. Be still. Grr. No. Hey, the music came back on. That was that was weird. I was wondering why it had gone silent. I was like, oh, it must be a dramatic part. But then it kind of dragged on for longer than needed. And I was like, okay, maybe maybe my game's just broken. <laughs> now then, Ike, I fully understand your feelings. Your passion for your employer is truly a beautiful thing. It's obvious you two are a couple and that you're going to get married in the end of the game. I can already see the future because I've watched so much Scooby-Doo. Anyway, <laughs> with that, my own fawning vessels shared your commitment. I don't know how to speak in old age. However, truth be told, you're be old English, not old age. Your behavior does test my patience, and you must be sent to the dungeons. Raise your voice once more to me, and you will seriously damage the princess's already precarious position. Do you understand? Not really. <laughs> Why don't you film me? <laughs> IQ moron! <laughs> Even if Valencia is truly crummy royalty, she is a best heir to a dead country, nothing more. Without Begnion support, Valencia's claim holds no meaning, am I mistaken? Well, well how rude! Pah! 
Ha! I say. I'm leaving again. My god, Ike, you're tall. I just realized that. Even if we harm her fragile feelings for the sake of her country's future, she must stand by and say nothing. In fact, she is in no position to do anything but beg for Bagneon's favor. Ha! Look, begs and Bagneon. Ha! Get it? Get it? You're not laughing, Ike. Or hadn't you noticed? Well, Beg was in Bagneon. I guess I should have noticed. I knew someone was going to have to beg for something eventually. I just didn't expect this. I have much to consider. For now, I shall take my leave of you. Can we kill Sananki? Sa Sanaki? I can't even pronounce her name. Can we kill her? <laughs> Oh, I'm joking. I'm sure she's a lovely person that all the fans love. I still want to kill her. I don't care. I don't care if she's good in the end. <laughs> I will meet with my senator soon and discuss the state of affairs. Crummy's future will not be uncertain for long. Until that time, I suggest you rest and relax. Perhaps you could try your hand at our courtly games of wit and words. You're a courtly game. What incredible nerve to take advantage of our situation and speak down to us like that. I don't care if she's the Empress or the Apostle or whatever. I can't stand her. Exactly, Ike. My sentiments... Exactly. I don't even know if that's the right words. I'm not very good in words either, Ike. We're both stupid. Isn't that great? Except I'm smarter than you. <laughs> and I'm better than you. No, I'm not. Listen, Ike. Isn't it possible that the Apostle saved you? What? What are you talking about? We saved her butt. What? <laughs> exactly. Titania is correct by some BS means. Begneon is a nation ruled by time, honored custom, <laughs> by time honored custom and ancient convictions. Convictions. You insulted the apostle, the very symbol of their way of life. The fact that you are still breathing is a miracle. Are you really what? What? Oh yeah, I called the apostle stupid and she spared me. Oh boy. I'm so proud. She's such a glorious human being for doing that. That's such a BS excuse. <laughs> I hadn't realized. Oh, fr Ike's actually going with this crud. <laughs> I'd still be pissed at her. <laughs> I'd be like, I don't care. She's still an a-hole. <laughs> And as her escort, your criminal behavior would fall directly on your employer, Princess Alencia. <sighs> if you had truly angered the Apostle, any hope of restoring Crummy would have vanished like a puff of smoke. That's madness. They would sacrifice a whole country to satisfy their own egos? Exactly. That's why I'm still mad. <laughs> I don't care if she spared Ike's life. The fact that she would kill someone over calling her names and stuff. He didn't even call her names. What did he do? Said that her games were stupid, pretty much. <laughs> it's so stupid. Ike, this may not be much of an answer, but letting madness rule the day is the prerogative of nobility. I don't even know what you just said, Soren, because my brain had a fart. The Bayork divide themselves into classes, and with classes come prejudice. Yeah! I guess, I guess Ike comes from the American side. No. <laughs> from the moment of our birth to our final dying gasp, we commoners know we are not allowed to defy the upper classes. Well, that's a bunch of BS, Soren. <laughs> Princess Alencia! Oh, I mean, uh, Princess Alencia, I- I'm sorry. My ignorance does not excuse my stupidity. I truly am sorry. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. That's a great sentence. I'm gonna- I'm gonna put that as my new, uh, my new signature on DeviantArt. My ignorance does not excuse my stupidity. I'm truly sorry. <laughs> that's great. That's a great quote. I'm gonna take a picture of that send it to Thunderbolt and be like, this is you. <laughs> and then she's gonna be like, what the F is wrong with you? No! Oh, hey, the music! <laughs> no, I... What you said, you said in my defense and in my honor. It made me very pleased. Even though I could have gotten murdered. Huh? To see you so angry on my behalf, your words filled my heart. Let's go out. Let's date. You can be my king, and then we can both be nobles, and then we can make fun of whoever we want. It wasn't as noble as you make it sound. However, there is one point that I would con contest. 
contest. It is true that I've lost my family and my home. But I did have people to turn to, people to rely on. My Lord Ike, you and your company were at my side. For me, this has been a great source of inspiration and of happiness. Prince Zalencia, your words are hollow, <laughs> like my soul. <laughs> my Lord Ike, please call me Alencia. Huh? That would be improper, wouldn't it? Ike, you already called her Alencia like a million times already. Okay, whatever. I mean, you're a lawyer, and You called me so early, are you beefhead? You beefhead. I did? Really? Yes, you fr You didn't even notice! No, I... Oh, my apologies. I'll be more careful. Well, I suppose we should go. They prepared rooms for us. Woo, la di da da going off. Oh, my lord, Ike. You're such a freaking idiot. <laughs> Ike, here's a summary of our last battle. Did we do poor? Oh! You know what? Jill's life was not worth Astrid's. I mean, wait, the opposite of that. I meant Astrid's life was not worth Jill's. <laughs> Uh, we lo oh, that's all I have to report. Excuse me. No! No! Okay, we got support with my boy, Oscar! <laughs> Ike. Oscar, what is it? Have you finally gotten a voice? Are you well, Ike? No, I haven't gotten a voice. I still suck. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Why? Did I worry you? No, no, it's nothing that you did. It's just that... Our battles are intensifying. I never imagined that we'd be involved in clashes of this magnitude. Two people have already died. I'm getting worried. My Two of my younger brothers are in this battle, and they're gonna die. You're right. Ever since my father died, it's been one kind of chaos after another. It's a real challenge. It is. Uh, so, how are you doing? Well, I mean, are you as well as can be expected? Is there anything I can do? Ah, uh, Oscar, I give you enough grief as it is. Just stick with your helplessly green... Commander. What? <laughs> what? Your, your helplessly green commander? Ike, are you colorblind? You're blue. He's green. Is green supposed to mean something? When I think of green, I think of jealousy and sickness. But, okay, whatever. That's all I ask. Ike, you're colorblind. Will you continue to believe in me? No! <laughs> of course not. As Commander Grill said, We are family- Wait, that's not right. We are family- This is my home. I will support you to the end. Listen, I have an urge for your cooking. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ike! You, he just was like, I will support you to the end. And all, all you can think about is his cooking? Really? He's not a servant. Freaking what? Think you can give Mist a hand tonight? Oh, you don't have to ask me twice. I'll put all my culinary skills to work. I hope you're hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> I just ate a brownie, and that was it. Kiran and Reese. Kiran and Reese. That's an odd combination, actually. Hey, Reese. Nice day, isn't it? Oh, hello, Ki. Yeah. What happened to you? Huh? What is it? Uh, there's blood gushing down the side of your head. Hmm? Why is the- Oh, oh, so there is! Isn't that odd? Oh, that just- That just happens. I didn't even notice because my hair is the same color as blood, you know? Your hair is kind of the same color. It, you know, it's a little light, but... You know, if you put water in blood, it, it would be the same color. Uh, odd? P please, hold still. J just stay there. Let me get my heel staff in. Heel staff? Bah, I'm fine. A scratch like this will heal itself. You should have seen the time I fought the giant scorpions of- Oh my goodness, are, 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 you, are you kidding? Uh, please, hold still. Phew. That should do it. But how did you hurt yourself? Oh, I was just training over there. Must have gotten a little crazy. Yeah, what? <laughs> what, did he just like smash his head back into a wall or something? Who were you sparring with, and why did they hit you hard enough to draw blood? Sparring? I <laughs> no one spars with Kiran. <laughs> I'm too much man for them. <laughs> no, I was just swinging my axe around, and then suddenly my axe just flew into the sky and hit me on the head. <laughs> 
<laughs> How do you cut yourself swinging? Race! I'm a crummy knight! <laughs> we fear neither blood nor pain nor terribly sharp implements being inserted into our... Oh, oh. Ew, what's wrong, you Reese? Uh, I'm sorry, I just got a little lightheaded there. Do you always put yourself through such harsh training? Of course, I'm a crummy knight, and this voice is hurting my throat. I never cut corners in my training. Why, even if the enemy were to lance me with a thousand barbed and poison needles, I would never stop. You're gonna make Reese faint, Kiran. Well, that, that's an admirable attitude, but I'm still concerned. Oh, dear me. Is that it? Is that it? No other support? That's just a bunch of poopy. Okay, fine. That was great, though. Let's talk to the servant. Get some more food. Oh, hey, maid. Psst, you wanna hear something? No. Oh, god, there's a rumor going around that a tiger subhuman has been seen on the foggy banks of this very river. Who, Mordecai? Dots. Eh, hey, what? You don't, what? You don't seem surprised. Uh, eh. Does she have an accent, too? <laughs> Alright, then how about this? That subhuman, they say it's always in beast form. It can't change back. Right? Frightening, ain't it? Oh my god, he's just an anamorph. Person. You know, from the book, you know, if they stay too long and morph for like two hours or something, they stay that way forever, that's what happened to Tobias. Is his name Tobias? My god, if I remember that, that's amazing, because that was back in 5th grade! <laughs> that was years ago. Like, 8 years ago, when I read those books. The only way for us humans to fight them savages is to wait for them to change out of beast form. I mean, how can we kill them if they won't change? How rude! Still no reaction, eh? What a, what a bore! I was about this juicy morsel then. Was saving it, I was, but I heard from my darling in the army. Well, her accent just changed. <laughs> from my darling in the army that tigers, cats, and other four legged subhumans hate fire magic. Why? My cats love fire. They try to touch it all the time. In fact, Moonshadow walks right into the frickin' fireplace and gets his white paws all wet. I mean, not wet. Dirty. Right? <laughs> yeah, he walks into the fireplace and gets his paws wet. <laughs> that makes sense. Now, he walks right into that fireplace, sniffing around. He's like, mmm, I like the smell of ashes and death. <laughs> It's because of him that we don't even s use fires anymore in that stupid fireplace. That's a useful tidbit, ain't it? Oh, I know things. I knows things. You there, serving winch. There's work to be done. Why are you wasting time chattering on? Well, what's wrong? Just saying hello to one of the new servants is all. Yo, fool, this is no servant. Ah! Uh, oh, eh, what? Oh, cracky. I can't do a British accent and a... And a poor person's accent at the same time. What the frick is this? <laughs> My poor person's accent is just a southern accent, by the way. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe because I'm poor and I'm southern. Uh... Let me let me try really hard to sound British. Uh, I I. Hey, watch! Oh, crikey! I can't do it at all. That was awful, and I'm not gonna try again. <laughs> oh, crikey! Princess Crummy's escort! What does crikey mean? It looks like cricket. A guest of the Apostle! Oh, oh, no, 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 gosh! Please, please forgive me! That's... What, what should I do? Oh, he looked a right angry, he did! I might get sacked! <laughs> Let's speak to Astrid. Um, Commander, I, I forgot my voice. I think it was like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's you. Are you trying to clear your head as well? Yeah, I guess so. I'm just walking and thinking about things. And also, how is my uh, headband still flowing in the wind, even though there's, though there's no wind and we're inside? Whatever, Begneon is so stupid. I don't understand this country at all. F this country. Hmm, I can see that. Everything's so wrapped up in form and tradition, it feels like Begneon has lost track of more important things. Like, you know, love and care and friendship and all that shiz. You're some noble house's daughter, are you not? What made you decide to become a knight? To escape my royal family? 
No, not to escape it, but to confront it. I want my life to be my own. How do you like being a knight? It's freaking awful. I freaking hate it. I may now be a knife. Knife. Knight. A knight, not a knife. But my hands still shake when I draw my bowstring. And that's what makes me an awful archer. I forgot I even was an archer. How am I a knight if I'm an archer? Whatever, so perhaps my goal was not simply to become a knight. Perhaps my true goal was to become stronger. <laughs> Commander Ike, the others say that you never give up, no matter how bleak the fight. Yeah, yeah, except when someone dies, then I give up restart. Unless it's someone that's not very important. <laughs> Jill Marcia, I'm sorry. <laughs> it seems like true strength to me. Please allow me to continue fighting by your side. If I remain with you, I will grow stronger from your example. Astrid, I'm going to be honest with you, you're probably going to die, like, right now in this battle. <laughs> Your skill with the bow is spectacular. How could I possibly refuse your request? We're pleased to have you until you die. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, let's see if I can award some EXP. We don't need to do anything with the cats. They're good even at their low levels. Mia, is that level up in ten? Yeah, Oscar's like a whole better knight. Look at that. All his freaking stats are pretty much better than Kieran. He even has more magic than Kieran, even though he doesn't use magic! Oh my god. That's freaking amazing. And he's one level lower. Why don't I use Oscar that much? What's wrong with me? Race is at level 8. Titania doesn't need anything. We all know that. I'm surprised her strength is only at 15. I mean, look at that compared to Kiran and Oscar. They're both becoming Titania, pretty much. Like, they're not that far from her. Except she has 20 skill, never mind. <laughs> and all her other stats are huge. I'm still surprised that her strength is only 15. With how much damage she's done, but... Holy crud, her other stats, they're ridiculous. Uh... Leith is the same strength as Titania. And Mordecai is actually stronger than Leith, surprisingly. We have so many people at level 1. These three kids and Astrid. Like, why? What's... What, are they, like, gonna be super powerful if I actually take the time to level them up? Because I don't have that kind of time. Eh. I don't want to waste all my experience, extra experience on them when I could be using it on better people. I don't get it. Great. Now he's at a good level that doesn't bother me. Good job, Rolf. Now you're at a level that doesn't bother me. Rolf is at level 5, and his stats are poopy. Astrid is at level 1, and her stats don't look that bad. I'm gonna go ahead and level her up two levels and see what happens. Alright, we got her to level 3. Her stats seem pretty nice. Mmm. I like him. But, uh, now let's actually use these levels on some people who have fallen behind. Like poor, uh, Zihark over here, who could use a level. Or two, I should say. I want to get him to level 12 so that he's on par with, uh, with the others that are at level freaking 15 and such. Plus, I like Zihark. Woo, that was a good level up. Good job, Zihark. I'm gonna level up Ike just because that is bothering me. I'm on that 15 just because 14's bothering me. Woo, that was a nice level up. Good job, Ike. Still don't know why he's called a ranger and not a mercenary or anything like that, but whatever. I don't know who else to do because I don't really like I don't have a like a clear choice of who I like, you know? I I mean I like Ike, I like Zihark, I like Mordecai, I like Leith, I like Titania, Kiran, Oscar, and Reese. But Reese doesn't really need the levels because he's just a healer and healers are just there to be healed. The only thing that you really care about healer is like uh how how good 
of a staff they can use. So you just care about their weapon level. So you want to use that a lot. It doesn't really matter what level they are because they're going to die in, an, in a couple of hits anyway. Even if you level them up to, oof, level, I don't know, a bunch. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, man. And I know I have a, a thingy. I've got a thingy that I haven't used. Because I'm stupid. Wait, what's a... What's this? In certain conditions, grant this unit two consecutive attacks. Nice. What do you have? Doubles the experience points this unit gains. Oh. Okay, we're going to be using Astrid like, cra like crazy now. Blossom. Grants unit fewer experience points, but enhances growth over time. Okay, well that kind of sucks, but I guess it's alright. So I, it's not as bad as whatever Kiran's was. So, what I was saying is that we've got a thing. We've got a thing. We got this. Yeah. So, I know no one's at level 20, and you really want a person to be at level 20 to use this. But you know, it is an option. It would make the game a bit easier to handle. And level 20 is a is a long stretch, you know. But I guess I won't do that right now. I'll wait. I'll I'll wait. I'll be a good person and wait. Anyway, I'm going to take a break, check on the recording and go eat something so that way my brain is a bit better the next time I try to record. <laughs> BRB well BRB for you guys in, in reality it'll probably be a couple days <laughs> actually I forgot one thing uh we have to do the uh the thing and this time I think I'm gonna give it to oh my god Volk holy crud you need to you need to, to give that to the convoy all of those things. Oh crap! I gotta assign. I gotta. I got so much to do. Wait, what is that thing? Oh, never mind. I know what it is. Wait a minute. What's this? What's? What is? What is? What is this? An item that allows characters to acquire different skills depending on their class. Oh, that sounds amazing. What's this? Of course. Why did I even ask? What's this? Okay, I have a lot to do. But anyway, right now I'm gonna go to the shop, to the uh, to the forge, and I'm gonna make an. Ep I can't make a knife. Oh, I was actually gonna make a special knife for Dar, and I had a great name. But whatever. Guess I won't. Let's make one for Astrid then, because I want to show her that I do care about her, and she's not gonna die. You know, not yet at least. Let's make her a steel bow. Let's, let's, uh, raise this hit, because I hate missing. I really hate missing. There we go. So expensive. Okay, and we're gonna name it. And we're gonna name it. Alright, guys, I don't know what to name it, so I'm, I went to a random word generator, and I'm just gonna generate the first, uh, the first random word, and whatever that word is will be the name of the bow. Let's see. Generate random floor. F that one. Let's try again. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna call it... I'm gonna call it the Fuselading. Yeah! Cause, you know... Why not? <laughs> It's heck yeah, fusillating. Oh, that's a perfect. That's the perfect name for it. Oh, and it's gonna be hot pink. Oh, it's beautiful. Enjoy your bow, Astrid. Enjoy your fusillating, 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 fusillating. <laughs> Enjoy that. 
Oh god, you have you have a master seal too. We have two master seals. Oh, that's amazing. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> we'll give it to someone else. Oh, you have things too. What's this? A valuable gemstone it can be sold. Why don't we sell it? What's this? It increases the weapon level of the current leaf. Nice. Five thousand. Nice. Look at that. What is this? Golden coin used for currency can be exchanged for exactly one gold. You know what? I'm gonna keep these coins. <laughs> I'm gonna keep them for good luck. <laughs> and I'm just gonna let Mordecai and Titania hang on to them, because why not? They, d they deserve them. <laughs> this thing. Oh god, I don't think you want to- I don't, I don't think you want that. Never mind. Uh, you can take that. You can take that one. Okay. Who wants to be the cat killer? <laughs> Who wants to be the cat killer? Not many people use, uh, swords, I've just noticed. I don't want to give it to Ike or- Oh god, Seahark, I'm sorry. You just- you just take this and... Don't ask questions, okay? <laughs> oh god. Oscar. I want you to give them that and take this. Oh, that's nice. And you, I want you to take this. Do we have anything else? I don't think so. Ooh, we got a killer bow. We should give that to Rolf because Esther just got something. So it's nice to give someone else. Okay, you can't even use that. F you. You can't use it either. Huh. You guys suck. Okay, I think I think we're all good finally. So now I'm gonna save and quit. Nice. See you guys in a little while. Hello, this is Lightmoof9, and welcome to the most the least popular I was gonna say most unpopular, but least popular YouTube channel in existence. Besides the people who don't make videos at all. <laughs> anyway, I'm back after a while. It's been a while. It's been so long I don't remember where I was. But that's okay. Uh, I was gonna check on the supports. That's what I was gonna do. Oh my god, I can get support with Soren. I didn't even know that. That's so sad. <laughs> that's so sad. <laughs> that's so sad because Soren is- Hey! You can get support with Leaf. Ooh, I'm getting support with Leaf. <laughs> anyway, I'm about to graduate next week. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Uh, it seems like just yesterday I was that weird 13 year old playing Minecraft and recording it with my frickin' iPad and pretending it was a camera. <laughs> and I would record it upside down all the time. <laughs> Uh, I was such a lame-o. I still am. I still am a lame-o. Soth, sooth, sooth. Can only get with Astrid. Mist can get with a lot of people. Ah! Oh! I want to get Rolf and Mordecai, because I think Mist and Mordecai would be just adorable. <laughs> Let's get with Boyd as well. Mist is going to be with everyone. Nefinfini is going to get with Brom, because that's all I can do. <laughs> Rolf, gotta get him with that Marcia. Oh wait, she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Marcia. I'm so sorry, Marcia. I'm so sorry. Boyd can apparently get support with Brom. Astrid with Soth only. Folk with question marks. Brom can be with those three. Leaf those two. Uh, what can Reese? Uh, Reese and Mia. I've been trying to do that. Okay. We can also get a support with uh, with Kiran and Rolf. Apparently, Mia can only get with Reese right now. Kiran could have gotten it with Marcia, but mm, I'm just gonna get these two supported. Oscar and Kiran. Yeah, since they can't support anyone else right now. Well, I mean, we could get Kieran and Reese, but that's just kind of odd. <laughs> Alright, that's that's all I wanted to uh, 
to check on. Let me make sure everyone's weapons are in order. Oh, I forgot about the fusilla ding. <laughs> That's great. Okay, let's go, let's go. We're gun. We're good. We're gun. We're good. Let's go. Leap base. <sighs> I am so bored! We've been here for five days already, and there's absolutely nothing to do! Miss, just be glad that no one has died in those five days, that we haven't had to fight anything in five days. Where are we? Oh, we're in that boring castle place. You know what? I agree with you. That place sucks. This place sucks. Let's leave. Why are we here? They gave me free reign to wander the temple, but I've seen everything. I'm tired of it. In only five days, you've seen the entire temple? It's, it's a pretty big temple. I take it Princess Alencia has been invited to yet another social gathering. A little time off is one thing, but this... What's a social gathering? <laughs> What's a social gathering? What do you mean by that? Why? I thought people hated us. Whatever. I guess I'll get in some fencing practice. Fencing? Um, okay. Fencing practice. <laughs> Ike, the captain of the Apostles' Holy Guard is headed this way. I beg your pardon. I already forgot my voice. I don't even care. But my name is Sigrun. 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 Whatever! Are you and your mercenary company enjoying your stay here in Begneon? No. Is there anything you find wanting? I want a life. There's nothing to do, and Mist is bored. Ike! You oh, sorry. I meant. I meant. <coughs> uh, Ike, why did you say that? <laughs> but apparently, Mist is actually going to go that direction. Ike, why did you say that? <laughs> Weren't you just complaining about that exact same thing to me? You said you were bored and tired of everything. My mom does that all the time, and I get so mad. I'm like, Mom, why? You can't tell people my actual thoughts. They'll hate me. <laughs> that doesn't mean you should go spouting it to everyone. Oh, you're such an idiot, Ike! My apologies. Neither of them meant any offense. They're just frustrated and really stupid, and they're children. <laughs> yes, I understand that. I will pay it no mind. They think my castle's boring. <laughs> Did you have some reason for coming to, to speak with us? <laughs> I need a reason to speak with you. Uh, I mean, uh, I bring word from the Apostle. She wishes to charge you with a task. What kind of task? The Apostle wants to employ us? Oh, great. Who are we killing now? I didn't expect this. Expect what? Expect this. I mean, your reaction. I'm closing my voice. Your reaction. I thought, I'd have thought that you would be spouting and fuming at the thought of working for the Apostle. Money is money! I mean, uh, if Princess Alencia can tolerate endless social gatherings to judge Begnion's mood and garner her favor, the least I can do is help her earn points by running an errand or two. Can you finish those errands? Hmm. Ike, they're coming. Who's coming? So, so we lay in wait for them right here, right? 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 Yes. The Apostle's orders were clear. Stop the band of merchants traveling on the old highway and seize their cargo. That sounds like a, a very non-good thing to do, uh, unless these merchants are also thieves. Why are we doing this? This does look to be the best spot for an ambush. Alright, I don't know who we're facing, but we're on the job. Let's do this right. This sounds shady. Very, very shady. I don't like this. What if they're... G okay, they're bad guys. Never mind, they're red. <laughs> Red means bad. Old Town Road. Everyone knows red means bad. Gashi Lama? Gashi Lama? Some weird music. Gashi Lama. I don't like your hair or that mole under your under your eye or your mustache. It's a very shady mustache and I don't like uh, anything about you. But I do like that wolf looking mask that you've got on on your little uh, battle character guy not the not the drawing on your actual model it looks like a wolf your head your hair looks like a wolf and I'm pretty sure that you're wearing a wolf mask and that's pretty cool but other than that I don't like you <laughs> I poor croc that croc croc <laughs> crop this time around cats, tigers, and a few crows. Oh, we got our laborers. We're not going to get rich with this. 
Oh, we worked so hard to catch him. Is it as bad as all that? Catch who? I've been selling half-breeds for 25 years. Half-breeds? By half-breeds, you mean subhumans, right? I mean, by subhumans, I mean lagoos, right? You mean half-breeds equal lagoos? Right? I'm not thinking about... Uh, you know, frick, frick, you, you know, lagoos, human, <laughs> baby, half breed. <laughs> that hasn't happened, right? <laughs> that would be awful. <laughs> uh. You know, that reminds me of my story that I wrote. I had, like, there are these things called collectors in the in the world of Mysteria and whatnot, but they all come from Earth. Uh. And they basically collect shifters to use them for their powers, and also just because they look nice, and they like to keep them because they're weird. Anyway, the, o the ones that fetch the highest price are the trophy herons, and if they're white-winged royals, the fanatics will- the fanatics- the fanatics- the fanatics will empty their purses of every last coin. Well, if that's the case, why don't we hit Serenus for us next time? There might be a few of them left. You've got the brains of a dead wervin. 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 <laughs> why do you think Aaron herons are so expensive? Why do you think errands are so expensive? <laughs> it's because no one ever finishes them. It's been 20 years, 25 years since that, 20 years since that mob burned Serena's. The herons were all roasted like chickens. Well, frick, why didn't they just fly? <laughs> no matter how you look at it, that was utter lunacy. All that gold up in smoke. I don't know, gold's pretty resilient. I mean, go back, go back, man. There might be rivers of that stuff. <laughs> No, oh, if they're so valuable, I'd like to see one with my own eyes. I'd catch it and put it in a cage. Idiot. Think what you could buy with all that gold. A new axe. Oh, and some furry boots, too. Some furry boots. I didn't know you were a furry, p Mr. Peddler, over there. Mr. Pedophile. <laughs> Shut up, fool. You stop your dreaming and look, daydreaming and look over there. What? What? Who are they? They're the freaking people who are come to kill us, man. Bah, look alive, lads. They're not common travelers. These are not ordinary merchant merchants. Here they come, Titania. Are we sure this is the right bunch? <laughs> no, I don't think so. The, the, you know, big buff, scary men. That one right on the bridge, right in front of you. Yeah, I don't think I don't think this is the right br br brunch bunch. You know, may maybe a. Uh, Maybe we meant to go find the green people. <laughs> you know, the the ones wearing the nice robes and all are always friendly. This fog makes it hard to see, but the numbers and appearance match our intelligence. Our intelligence. That must it must be them. Well, they're certainly seen us. They're readying their weapons. I mean, just look at that guy right in front of us. He's got his weapon already out. Very well, get ready to fight everyone! We're so happy-go-lucky. Okay, let's choose our beautiful uh, people who are gonna let die. Well, everything seems to be right. Yeah. Are there anything to steal? Is there any things to steal? No. Well, there are houses. Those houses are gonna be gone in a flash. Let's be honest. A Lagoo's Lance. <gasps> Don't tell me. Nah, nah, it's n it's not. <laughs> yeah, he's he's not. <laughs> It's just a random character we can get right. Let's look it up. Makalov. Makalov. Let's look you up. 
Yeah, he is the older brother of Marcia. Well. Dang. Why can't we have another mage? Jesus. I mean, I know I lost a mage. I killed... Soren's sorta dead, and then the other girl I didn't recruit because... Whoa, I didn't know I could hold B and do this. Oh, that is amazing. No one ever told me of this. Why have I never done that before? Okay, whatever. We're saving and we're gonna fight. Alright, men. Our army is pathetic. I have a headache and I suck at games. Especially Fire Emblem games. And the grid is really annoying and I keep forgetting to turn it off. And every time I realize that it's on, it bugs me. But oh well, let's go kill things. I cure up first. Wait! I want to put them together. Come on, Ike. Let's fight together. No! Use me nips. I gave you that sword specially. Oh my god, I forgot to turn on the animations. <laughs> I, I remember I turned them off because I died so many times last time. Don't worry, let's get that back on. So much better. <laughs> okay, um. Oh, I forgot. We have to do this BS. They may be screwed, but that's alright. Visit that. Oh, bother. Buying all these things is well and good, but I simply can't carry it all. Hey, Khalil! I think that's how you pronounce that name. I don't know. I had a friend named Khalil. He was a guy. His name was spelled with a K and an H. K-H-A-L-I-L, -I, -L, I believe. You're the complete opposite of that, and your name is spelled completely differently, but it looks like it would also be Khalil. Anyway, I just wanted to put, point that out there, because I was Khalil. <laughs> And where's Largo? Largo? That's that's kind of mean. <laughs> he leaves me in this backwater berg and wanders off to good godness. Goddess! <laughs> godness. Goddess only knows where. Hello? I forgot my voice. Oh, you there. Today's your lucky day. You've arrived at just the right time. I have something nice to give you. I just got back from a shopping spree and got this as a free bonus of sorts. Oh, please, no need to thank me. When you're a sophisticate like me, you f sophisticate like me, you never want for trinkets. Or men, for that matter. Whoa, okay. <laughs> well, toodly do then. Be sure to treasure that for the rest of your days. Now, which way to the nearest city? What? Oh, I guess spirit dust. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, Mia, how much damage can you do that man? Wow, Mia, you suck. Like, you re you really... God. Dang, you suck. Wait, wait. Oh, that's actually good. Oh, but wait. I don't want to die. I don't want Mia to die. Okay, she won't die. She won't die. She won't die. We're all good. We can go attack him with that with that iron sword. Because every other sword sucks. Bam! Ow, that hurt a lot, actually. Bam! I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. I, I really don't. Oh, well, it's it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Reese, go heal. <laughs> There's two more houses up there. But I have to kill Marcia's brother. <laughs> I have to kill Marcia's brother. <laughs> okay, what if you go over there? Ooh. 16. Wait, I can steal? Oh. I can just steal your... Oh. Never mind. I can't. Kieran, go over there and kill him. Go kill him with my dreams. Aw, it's so nice. You're in the ocean. Oh, that's a that's a nice relaxing scene. I like it. You're dead now, and the river ran red with blood. Blah. Except it didn't, because he disintegrated instead. Look, guys, for once Volk is attacking someone. Oh frick! 
Volk might die. <laughs> oh god, I uh, was not expecting that. Hey, you! Hey, hey, you, you! I could be your killer! <laughs> oh frick, I missed! I'm not gonna miss this time! Okay, good. Good job, Oscar. Okay, someone go over there and save Mia before she becomes dead. Don't care who saves her, but... Just, just get over there. Oh, what terrible luck. My sixth sense told me that the weather would be nice today. Hey, grumbling and whining won't pay off your debt. Come on, beautiful, cough up my gold. I'd dearly love to pay you, but unfortunately, I'm broke. Not again. You're employed as a bodyguard. Why don't you have enough gold to pay me back? Girl, when we get back to the base, I'll get what's mine. Try to run and you'll pay in pain. Threaten all you like. I can't ha give you what I don't have. Ooh, I hope that sounded brave. <laughs> oh dear, what am I going to do? It seems I must go crawling back to my dear sister once again. It's too bad she's dead. Oh, she's going to be so mad. But in the end, I'm sure she'll help. After all, it's for the life of her brother. <laughs> Marcia. Right, tonight I pay a little visit to the barracks of the sacred Pegasus <laughs> I feel so bad. I feel so bad. There are no words to describe how bad I feel. I'm so hollow. I'm gonna get them support. I don't care if it takes me forever. Go after him and kill him. No, wait. Mm. Go after that guy and kill him. I got a 100% chance of killing you today. So you're gonna die. Bye bye. You think you you think that scares me? <sighs> I'm immune to fire. <laughs> I'm fireproof. Didn't you know that white horses are fireproof? Yeah, that's right. You get out of here. I was hoping I'd level up, but I didn't. Darn. Nice job. Hey, you leveled up. Everybody clap for Reese. I want a Reese's Pieces right now. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, actually. That's what I want. Hey, your weapon leveled up. Good job, S Reese. Estrid. Go kill that guy. No, with your Fusaladine. Oh. Actually, an Iron Bowl is better than the Fusaladine. Okay. Well, frack. You know what? You know what? I don't care. I'm taking risks. It's time to take risks, get messy, and I forgot the other things that Mrs. Frizzle taught us on the Magic School Bus. But whatever, kill him. Get him with that fusilading. Look at that pink, hot pink bow. It's beautiful. Oh, look at that miss. <laughs> That's exactly what I was expecting because I didn't even look at the hit percentage. <laughs> I'm so screwed. I'm screwing myself over right and left. Mm. It's okay. Oh, that's not good. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Everything's just gonna be okay. Everything's not gonna be okay. Look at that hit percentage. We only have 66% chance to hit this guy. And he does so much. And I only have 28 health. Okay. We're so effed. We are so effed. I'm effing myself even more than I've ever effed before. Oh dear. Is that all? No, no, no. We forgot about Kiran. Kiran, go over there and help people. <laughs> Please, run. Run over there and help people. Why did I put all the weak people together? Why did I think that would work? Why did I think that'd be a good idea? Don't mess with Ike and his nips! I told you not to mess with him. Loser. Don't mess with Titania! 
You don't know what you're dealing with. <laughs> Didn't I tell you why horses were immune to arrows too? You're dead. <laughs> hey, I got a free bow. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I thought so. Now we can kill cat people in every form. Oh dear, I knew that was going to happen. Estra, dodge it! Dodge it, Estra! Dodge it! Dodge it! Dodge it! Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, that's enough uh, fighting for Estrid for now on. We just got her. We don't want her to die just yet. Please. Please. They, they're crushing us. They're nothing but a pack of rats, but they fight like demons. Actually, you're, you're pretty much winning. I mean, yeah, we killed some of your guys, but you still got the bigger number, and come on, we're all, we're all dying. We're all so screwed. Har har, but no matter how tough they are, oh, har, I can't get, I can't recruit you. No matter how tough they are, there's no way they can stand up to a real, I mean, sorry, sorry. There's no way they can stand up to a real monster. Hey, you there, release the feral. Har, har, har. Now all we have to do is sit back and watch them chew their heads clean off. Ferals? Oh. Oh, is that their risen or whatever? Oh, dear. Oh, okay, so I guess this is what happens to, to cat people. Can they also kill you? Because I would like it if they would also kill you. But I doubt. Okay, well, Titania, you can deal with the feral ones. Okay, you can deal with those. I'll just deal with what I can deal with. I go over there and watch Leith murder this man in front of you. Come on, Ike. If you, I mean, not Ike. Come on, Boyd. If you can do this, if you can't do this, okay, you can do this. Good, 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 good. That's it. Boy deserves his own weapon. Okay, maybe not. He didn't level up. <laughs> Woo, Kiran leveled up. Good job, Kiran. That's a good level up. Oh, I don't think we're gonna get these houses. I mean, two pirate guys are already kind of like going for it. Yeah. Oscar, you can make a you can make a run for it and try, but. You know, you don't. You don't have to. <laughs> Ooh, that was beautiful. What's a venin axe? Venin axe. I don't know, but I want it. Aw, I didn't get it. Hey, Titania leveled up. Good job, Titania. Look at that level 12. It's beautiful. Oh no, Makalov, don't make me- No. No. Are you a mercenary too? It's a tough life being a warrior for hire, isn't it? I don't like having to do this, but I must pay off my debts or my sister will have my head. Oh, you moron. Oh, you moron. Don't you know that axe beats sword? I don't want to make you join your sister. I don't want to make you join your sister. Oh, there goes house number one. It's destroyed. It's burned down to the ground. Goodbye, whatever was in there. Oh, the beast has awakened. We have our own feral over here. Oh, dear. Oscar leveled up. Look at that beautiful pink shaft there. <laughs> okay, that really sucked. I'm sorry, Oscar, but that just really sucked. It was speed. Come on. What good is speed? There you go, Boyd. Finally putting in some work, even though that guy was only at two health. <laughs> good job. You leveled up. What level are you now? Level 3? <laughs> that ain't right. Level 11? Jesus. And only- what? What's with everyone getting only plus 1 in speed? Speed sucks. Oh well, whatever. I got a Laguzant Lance. <laughs> Whoa, I have no idea what I was about to say there. 
and I'm gonna use my dreams to crush you. Oh, it'll work, it'll be fine. Sorry, Mac, love, I love you. This hurts me a lot. Uh, forgive me, Marcia. It's okay. You're, go you're going with Marcia now. Disintegrate into heaven. Uh, I'm a monster. Hey, but I got a red gem, and my weapon leveled up. Oh, yeah. Go up there with Oscar. Where you belong. Uh. Okay, you- what- is this the loser brigade begra- Can't even say the word. Brigade, right here, is this the loser brigade? Brigade- I can't do it again, darn it. Okay, let heal up Volk, Reese, cause he's about to die. This is the loser squad over here. Mia, Volk, and Astrid. They're only here to, uh, for moral support. <laughs> God. Uh. Should I go? Should I stay or should I go? I'm gonna move up Leith and Ike and Pussy Heart right there. I think we're good. Yep. Other house is gonna burn down. Watch it. Watch it burn down. Yep. Bye bye, house number two. I shouldn't have even tried. Shouldn't have even tried. A Vinian axe. Oh no. Oh, you missed. Oh, you were so slow. You tried though, but now you're dead. Yeah. You thought you were gonna live because of that pause, but nope. Nope. She wasn't done yet. Now you're dead. Now you're disintegrated. Go speak to Makalov and Marcia and Jill. <laughs> Tell them how horrible I am. <laughs> okay, who wants to take care of these two? Not Mordecai? Good. Mordecai, go over there and join them to go fight the ferals. <laughs> Kiran, you get the you get this one and Actually, that kind of sucks. You know what, Oscar? You get that one. And I'll let Brom handle the other guy, because Kiran has better use elsewhere. Ooh, Oscar, you're getting hurt. Okay, never mind about that. We'll, we'll get Kiran to, to handle this guy, because I don't want Oscar, my baby, to die. Yeah, get in those bushes. Bushes will help you. They'll save your life. Can you maybe shoot him? No? Can't shoot him? What good's an archer if they can only hit from like a certain distance? What is this BS? I'm getting in the bushes too, since you're in the bushes. Ha! You can't hit me. You'll never hit me. You only have a 29% chance of hitting me. Oh my god, I did not realize how low my health was. Good thing I'm in the bushes! Woo, where's Reese when you need him? Why are you way back there, Reese? What's wrong with you? Okay, everyone just, just move up a little. Everyone, go. We need a healer, because we're stupid and we didn't... Why? We should, we should just change Reese's class to one of those horse people so he can be on a horse and have a staff at the same time because that would be so so helpful okay you don't have much time left before you change back so you know what just kill this guy just just kill this feral right here right here right now kill him I don't care about my precautions I don't I'm not even regretting I forgot Leith's voice. Oh, Jesus. Hey, you're a galleon. Why are you guarding these humans? There you go. That's better. That's more feral. God, that's a great picture. I wish I could draw like that. Well, I probably could. But you know what? I wish if I looked at it long enough. But 
I wish I could draw like that on my own without looking at stuff. You, you're not sane, are you? What if these human scum done to you? Ah, <laughs> oh, my poor Lagoo's brother. I will destroy you myself and end your pain. Oh dear. That hurt my throat. <laughs> that didn't hurt. You're dead. Now I just have to make sure that she doesn't die from everyone else. Because god dang. She probably is. Ooh, I just threw her in there. She's a cat. She can handle herself. Right? Okay, someone please, please go over there and kill this man. I hope Titania can handle a feral. Please tell me she can. Because I will be so sad if she cannot. She might not be able to handle both the feral and this guy. Okay, Ike. Ike, please. Ike, please. We're so screwed. We are, we are more than screwed. We are, like, majorly screwed. Kill this mage guy. I'm just worried about him. I don't want him to live anymore. I told you I was fireproof! Stupid. <laughs> oh dear, I didn't know that the enemy face was- ah! Oh, hey. <laughs> Talking. Hey, you. Hey, hey, you, you. I don't like your girlfriend. Why don't you lay down your weapons and walk out of here with your lives? You can posture as much as you want to posture, but there's no way you can beat us. Shut it. I don't know why you're here, but if we lose our cargo, we lose everything. It ain't happening. In that case, we've no choice. You'll receive no mercy from us. He'll get no sympathy from me. I wish, uh... You'll receive no mercy from us, was Ike's taunt and smash instead. <laughs> Not. You're dead, goodbye. I tire of these games. Give me that Vidian axe, please. 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 Please? He's not gonna give me the Vidian axe, is he? No, he did not. He did not give me the Vidian axe. We are so screwed, but hey, it's okay. What? <laughs> You, you're just like us. You eat meat. You ride horses. I mean, come on. <laughs> you eat meat and you ride horses. Yeah, we have so much in common. We're not hurting any humans here. What's wrong with buying and selling a few half-breeds? That, that's slavery. That's wrong. You missed. Man, you suck. Now you're gonna die and I'm gonna get that killer ants. Ants? I'm gonna get the killer ants. I'm gonna get that killer axe, and it's gonna be sweet! Pfft, you have an axe! Don't come near me with that thing. Me nips is plenty to handle that. Okay, or not. <laughs> or it's not, you know. We're actually gonna win. Okay, now we're not. <laughs> Why? Oh, why, Leith? Leith, if you had just survived for one more mother effing turn, we would have won. Oh, we are so dead. Please tell me. Do you have the Lagoos thing? Oh. 19 plus 19 is a lot more than 30. Ooh, I'm sorry. Sorry to do this to you, Zihark. I know you like. Uh, Lagoozes and all, but uh, you gotta kill this one. Do it for the team! Psh. Good job, Zihark. Good job. You know what? You deserve your own weapon, too. It's too bad you got so many. Otherwise, I'd give you one. No. Next time we go into battle, Boyd's getting a weapon. Because Boyd deserves it. Okay. Finish up this guy, Titania. Kill him. Kill him dead. Kill Gashilama. Dead. Give me your killer axe, please. How did this happen to me? I've made my mistakes. Flossed everything. 
got nowhere to run. The night goes on and I'm fading away. I'm sick of this life. I just want to scream. How could this happen to me? I got a killer axe. I can't use it. <laughs> Great. Hey, we won! Our duty's done. Let's grab the car and get out of here. That guy's like, what? What? <laughs> Let's get out of here. Ah, <sighs> the grill mercenaries have returned. We've killed everyone except for one person. That one person is gonna have a really bad time. <laughs> They're probably going to grow up and become very vengeful and kill us in the next game. Anyway, <laughs> we're, we're done. Well done. The news of your victory is welcome, as is the cargo you seized. Wait, what? I thought the cargo was people. Oh, well, whatever. Now about your payments. Wait, this mysterious cargo was a bunch of really heavy crates. Would you tell me what they contained? Dead children. Whoa! <laughs> your job was to deliver the cargo. <laughs> I mean, that's not my voice, that's a man voice. Your job was to deliver the cargo. Why do I sound like her? Whatever. You have no need to investigate further. I'll just sound like this. Whatever. I don't care if it's manly. But, Princess Alencia has returned to her quarters. You would do well to inform her of your safe return. Thoughts? Thoughts, man. It appears that the postal will handle your payment on the morrow. Perhaps you can speak with her then. I beg your leave. I must be going. Very, very well. Guess we won't question the, the dead children that are in those boxes. Okay, let's go home. Time to go to sleep. Well, that was exciting for five minutes. Oh, nice, a cutscene. I wasn't expecting this. Let me turn it up for you guys. It's nice now. Oh, look at all the kitties. They're so cute. Let me turn it up lots. Hey, that person had the mark like Soren. Why did the front paw turn into a leg? Wouldn't it have turned into an arm? Or was that the back leg? And it just looked like the front. I don't know. I should shut up now. I'm sorry. Ow, that freaking hurt. I think I just broke my ribs. the hot people. It's the crow people. He looks like a crow. And he looks like a lion. That's a big cat. <laughs> Those are big cats. Is that it? All right, well, great. No one talked in there. Oh, wait, we're talking now. <sighs> what is a what does a Mufasa sound like? Like I could ever do Mufasa's voice. <laughs> I can't. I can only do like four voices. Thank you all for coming, my fellow Lagoos Kings. It's been decades since all of us were gathered in one place. I would extend my gratitude to King Degnancy of Goldoa who Arrange this meeting place at short notice. Uh, it was nothing, King Can... I guess. Fellow kings and countrymen, attend to my words. As you've no doubt have heard, I really, really hurt my chest. I mean, seriously, I think I'm gonna have a heart attack. Holiday Inn has invaded Crummy Land and, over and overrun her. Of course, Crummy is a Bayork nation. However, since the time of her founding, she has made every effort to engage the Lagoos with honor and dignity. Never has been this been more true than during the 30-year reign of good King Ramen Noodles. During this era, Gallia and Crummy in initiated many ambitious cultural projects in an attempt to bring our divided people closer. 
Yet one man has always reviled, rev reviled, reviled, I'm only 18, I don't know big words. The Talian King Ashnard. Why he took this recent course, however, I know not. Ashnard's actions are monstrous. His army has put much of Crummy to the sword. Her people live in terror. Her king lies dead. And now the Holiday Inn forces continue their ruinous march and cross the border into Lagu's territory, into Gallia. I forgot his voice. I forgot T. Barnes' voice. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he spoke like, what, one sentence two chapters ago or something like that? That trespass, O oh King of Lions, is because your country chooses to harbor King Crummy's orphan, is it not? Oh, oh Princess Olympia, right? Princess Olympia? Yeah, sure, that's her name. <laughs> yes, that is the justification they would present. But the Princess of Crummy is no longer in Gallia, is she? Your spies are as efficient as ever, King Tybar Tibarn of Phonic. Sis, as you say, the princess has already departed for Begnion. I know this only because she came to the aid of a ship carrying Begnion's apostle. Ah, oh, so Princess Alencia is safe and in contact with the Begnion Empire. That news gladdens my heavy heart. I do not believe the Holiday Inn yet has this information. If word got out that the Princess of Crummy has been granted sanctuary in Begnion, Holiday Inn might halt its invasion of Gallia. Your information is dated, Hawk King. Have your legendary eyes and ears abandoned you after all these years? You have something you wish to say, crow person? Would you be so kind as to explain yourself, King Kilvas? Jeez, you talk stupid. Princess Alencia barely escaped Crummy with her life and then fled to Gallia. That was, of course, in part due to me, but I won't say that. <laughs> and yet a certain king of beasts there, one on whom she had pined all hope, pinned all hope, chose not to support her. Dots. With nowhere else to turn, the princess and her rich, rich, new, ready new, ready new new, spent two long months at sea, arriving in Begnion mere days ago. Holiday Inn knows of these events as well, and the king has dispatched a team of hunters to make a corpse of the girl. Man, I love corpses. And that dear king's is the latest news. I'm pretty sure this was my voice, but whatever. At least to the best of my poor knowledge. Holiday Inn knows the princess is in Begnion? King Kilvis, how did you come to possess this, inf this information? <coughs> That's classified. <laughs> or... There's no trick to it. I'm sounding like Kiran now. <laughs> Why? There's no trick to it. I just perk up my ears and point them in the right direction. <laughs> you expect us to believe that a stray wind carried it to your ears? This is an odd tell, Naysala. That's a stupid name. Hmm, do you think so? Well, there is one trick to information gathering that I know. Shall I share it with you? If it involves dealing with human scum, I'll pass. Well, jeez! We're talking about protecting the human scum. Talking human scum. Foraging my Lagoo's pride. Forgoing, not foraging. I don't know why I said that. Forgoing my Lagoo's pride is not something I'm willing to do. Ha! Huh. Is that not always the way of phonixes, free phoenixes, to cling to those last tattered remnants of pride? I like shiny things. I like shiny things. Shiny things are my pride. I cling to them. Instead of proclaiming that you will just attack none but Begnion ships, just admit that you don't have the power to do more. What did you just say? Both of you will decease at once. King Nesala of Kilves, your actions of late can indeed be judged as too extreme. Black Dragon King of Goldoa, you don't even look like a dragon, whatever. What do you pretend to know of my actions? Please enlighten me. 
<sighs> I would remind you of the Bayork ship you attacked, and Phoenix Sicilian waters you left stranded in Goldoian territory. Oh! That! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Nay, Sala, you lying crow. You've been sneaking about in my territory again, have you? N no. Not at all. I heard from my own son, Kuthna- Kruthna- I knew I knew- I knew that guy was- looked familiar. Kruthnaga. Ah, I'm sounding like you, I don't know why. Kruthnaga. That a bay orc resembling Princess Crummy was on board that ship. I forgot my voice. It is true. This is my new voice. I sound like a girl. <laughs> what, King Kilvis, you? Don't act surprised. I have no intention of ruling some tiny island nation forever. I will make kill as a name to remember. As soon as I find all the shiny pea gold pieces in here, in the world, then I will make kill as a name to remember. <laughs> to that end, no amount of gold is enough. <laughs> like I was saying. Look who's our Bayork. I care not. If the pay is right, there's nothing I won't do. I care not about- I uh, oh, Jesus. I care not about the reach of your ambition, but you should choose your methods with more care. Cause you're really stupid, you know? What good will it do- I heard crows are smart, man, but you're not. What would it do to expend your domain only to find enemies at your every border? I will take your words to heart for the time being. And you too, King Ph Phoenixus. What good will your piracy do to you if it earns the wrath of Pegneon? Continuing at this pace and there's no telling when the hostilities will end. Until the people of Pegneon apologize for the slaughter of our brother Herons, I will do no such thing. Oh. Okay. Is that a Heron right there? <laughs> just, just guessing, he kind of popped up at the mention. Prince Raisin of Serenes, are you of the same mind? Those humans burned Serene's forest and killed my people. No amount of human blood can stake, slake my thirst for vengeance. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I didn't expect those words to come out of your mouth, but uh, alright, you look like Lucius with wings and pointed ears and green eyes. <laughs> For my siblings, for my countrymen, I demand justice. I cannot even return bedridden, my bedridden father to our forest home. I am no soldier. I know nothing of war, so if King Phoenix is axiomized stead. I am most grateful to him, and I would not see him stop until Begneon has paid. I'm kind of shipping them. <laughs> blood leads only to more blood, and violence begets violence. Nothing more. Revenge is simply another name for murder. Oh, I love vengeance. What's wrong with a little of it? revenge now and then? <laughs> Thoughts. And you, King of Lions, what will you do about your home of Gallia? Now that you know Holiday Inn's feint towards Gallia is merely another move in his game of war, how will you act? They've made no formal declaration of war. Until they do, we watch and wait. We live and learn. His, if it's the first step towards eradicating all human scum, Phoenixes will help you destroy Holiday Inn. No. Unless this becomes a true war among all nations, I want you to stay your hand. As long as Gallia is protected by the Sea of Trees, we can stave off Date Holiday Inn's attacks. There was another thing with the Sea of Trees, and I don't remember what it was. I don't think it was anything related to Fire Emblem, but whatever. Ah, the luxury of a large nation. You would waste a chance to expand your qu territory just to maintain the status quo. Sad. I agree with King Gallia. If we were to form a Lagoo's alliance against Holiday Inn, we would drive Pegneon to Holiday Inn's side and lose a valuable ally. The flames of war cannot be fanned haphazardly. Above all, we must think of Laran's medallion. Its location is unknown, which is surprising since you're a crow and you probably should have noticed that Mist was holding that thing, but whatever! But it still exists, we know this. And as long as it does, we cannot allow any war that could stand to engulf all our nations. Do you understand, Lagoo's kings? 
I beg of you, do not forget it. The end! Thank God, my voice was... My throat was killing me from all those voices. Anyway, this has been Light Love 9. I'm gonna go never talk again. <sighs> that was really quick. Like, most of that was just me talking about stuff. The battle itself did not last very long at all. Usually it's the other way around. But anyway, this has been Light Love 9, playing Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, right? Yeah, Path of Radiance. Thanks for watching.